Graphing square root functions. Recall the inverse of squares. The inverse of y equals x squared is y equals plus or minus the square root of x, which looks like this. But this result is not a function. The domain of y equals x squared is restricted to x is greater than or equal to zero, so that the inverse will be a function. So this y equals the square root of x is a function. Let's graph a square root function. Step one, find the domain of the square root function by setting the expression under the square root, the radicand, greater than or equal to zero and solve for x. Two, choose two more values for x in the domain that will give you perfect squares under the root. Substitute them into the original function to find y. Three, plot your points and graph. The function y equals the square root of x is one of the parent functions. Use this fact to help you anticipate the graph or find the function from the graph. Remember transformations. We have our parent function here, f of x equals the square root of x. Here we have the square root of x plus three, which moves the graph three units to the left. That's g of x here in blue. And then here we have x minus three under the radical, and that moves the graph to the right three units. We still have our parent function, the square root of x here in black, but now in blue, we have the square root of x minus three. Remember, this minus three is not under the radical, and that vertically shifts down three units. In red, we have k of x, and we have the square root of x plus three, and this plus three is not in the radicand. That vertically shifts the graph up three units, 